Hey guys, what is going on? I'm going to be showing you how to play GameCube games online with Dolphin's Netplay feature today. And it's a really simple process. There's only three things that you have to remember before we get started. One is make sure you and your friend got the game from the same place. So if you guys both want to play SSX3, you're going to have to make sure you use the same download link off the website to make sure you guys have the same game. Number two, your games have to be in your directory, meaning when you open up your Dolphin emulator, you'll be able to see your games right here. If it's not set up, it'll have a little notification telling you exactly how to do that. So just follow that prompt. And number three, you have to make sure you're using the same memory card as your friend. So the first thing we're going to want to do to get into this is we're going to go to configure and we're going to go to GameCube and we're going to look at our memory cards. And here you can see the memory card slot A. So what we're going to do is we're going to open that up. Here you'll be able to see all your memory cards. I've renamed one. You might want to do this as well so you'll be able to identify it. And what you're going to do is send the copy of whichever memory card you want to use to your friend and have him load it into memory card slot A. So for myself I'm going to select this online one and that's what I named it to know that's the one I'm going to use for online and I'm going to press OK. Now we're almost done believe it or not. Next thing you got to do is go to tools and then go to start net play. When you originally open this, it'll be on direct connection. So you're going to switch this over to transversal server. You can make yourself a nickname if you want. You don't have to. I'm classy, so I made my name milking my mother. So down under that, you can see it says connect or host. So if you wanted to connect to a friend's game, your friend would send you a room code. And right here is where you would type in that room code, and then you'd press connect. But instead, I'm going to show you how to make a room. So now you already know how to connect to one, but we're going to make a room. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the game that we want to play. And for me, it's SSX3 because that game is the illest. And we're going to click on host right here. And now we're in the game lobby. Right here on the top right hand side of the screen, you can see it says room ID and it has a copy button. What you're going to do is you're going to hit this copy button and send it over to your friend. And he's going to go back to that connect screen that we saw on the other thing, type it in right there and press connect. And then you'll see your friend pop up right here under you and it'll say milking my mother and my jackass friend. Well, I won't really say that, but whatever your friend's name is. And from here, you can assign controller ports. So as you can see, milking my mother is number one on player one, and your friend would be automatically assigned if they came in, and same with the third or fourth person that came in. So you don't really have to worry about that unless you want to switch the controller order for some reason. And the last thing we're going to look at before we start up the game is this buffer right here. If you or your friend has a particularly bad internet connection and you find that the game is lagging or becoming unsynced, what you're going to want to do is do the original steps we've already gone through, start up your room, and then you can raise this. I find that putting it on 18 works relatively well. I tend to play from, with people with, from other countries and our internet is not up to par with each other. And I feel like this is a good buffer between that. And after that, all you have to do is click start and it'll open up the game for you and your friend. And then you just go through the regular uh, notions of setting up a multiplayer match. And that's it. You're done. You're, you're absolutely done. All you had to do is make sure your games are in the directory, make sure you have the same ISO, and make sure you have the same memory card. And boom, you could do whatever the fuck you want. So congratulations, you can now play fucking GameCube online. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, you guys have a good one. And if you got any questions or you like the video, be sure to ask in the comments, like the video, sub, and all that junk. Peace out.